Welcome to the MIT Sloan School of Management and our latest executive education course in collaboration with Exec Online, Leading Operational Excellence. My name is Charlie Fine. I'm a professor of operations management at the MIT Sloan School of Management, and I'll be your course lead. I am Zeynep Ton, and I am absolutely delighted to be part of your experience in this operations course. I'm on the operations management faculty at MIT Sloan, and this is my fourth year teaching at MIT. In this course, we will look at quantitative tools that give one an opportunity to look at the data in an organization and how to understand that data and how to analyze that data and how to optimize the processes in the context of that data. And we'll also look at qualitative understanding of how do the pieces fit together, how do we integrate the people with the systems as I mentioned earlier. So who in the organization needs to understand operations? Well, certainly the operations managers, the people who are responsible for the processes. However, if you're a marketing manager, you also need to understand operations. That marketing is deeply dependent and interdependent with operations. And in order to, to market or sell a product or a service, one needs to understand what the operations function can bring to the table. Similarly, you're a finance person, you have to understand the economics of operations, you have to understand the cost of capacity, the drivers of capacity, the drivers of need, and the drivers of investment requirements, as well as the cash flows that come out of operations. If you're an HR manager, you need to understand how people are going to be used in the organization and what's required. So no matter what part of the organization you live in, it's critically important to understand how operations works and how it interacts with your own function. When companies compete on the basis of operations, they realize two strategic benefits. The first one is that they can differentiate themselves from their competitors. They can differentiate themselves in, in the eyes of their customers, in the eyes of their employees, and in the eyes of their suppliers. The second strategic benefit that comes through competing through operations is the ability to adapt. If you know how to push those frontiers all the time, if you know how to learn and improve all the time, you can much better adapt to changes in customer demand, changes in the regulatory environment, changes in technology, because you know how to execute. That's the second strategic benefit that comes from operations.